Hello everyone, this is Christos and it is my this is my first effort to make a voiceover while presenting you a TV box. Today we're looking at the Realbox 4K, the latest uh, offering from uh, Dune, which uses uh, the new Realtek RTD 1395 system on chip. Now we're taking a look at the settings. Uh, video settings are quite rich you will be able to properly connect any TV set, any projector. All the settings are here. HDR, HDR, 4K. Uh, you get auto frame rate, auto resolution, 3D support. Maximum color depth, uh, the color, this is the color space. The preferred uh, settings are the ones you see, auto and uh, as in content, in order, in order for you to avoid 12-bit uh, uh, output which may result to improper frame rate. Uh, audio settings are simple, you don't get much options, but uh, you get stereo and uh, bitstream. Now uh, we're taking a look at the uh, theme options, the skin options. You can use the old ones, that, like the one you see, and uh, there are the new ones where are represented in a single row of rotational icons. green, glass, these are classic dune ones, I prefer black. Now we're taking a look at some more settings, you do get all the basic ones like language selections, you see there's a big list, you won't be disappointed. subtitles, internal, external. You can also uh, have external subtitles, SRT type su subtitles, when uh, playback uh, ISO images. Uh, it's good to set up the, the main, the, the enter button. Uh, you can choose to play a single file or a playlist. And uh, you can also choose the video player. It can be Dune's internal player or Kodi or SMPC. It's better to use the, the Dune one, the internal one. Uh, I bought it day one and it has already, it is already in the fourth firmware. That's great. Dune always had good support. And this is the only page where you understand that this player is based on Android. Android version is 7.1.1, uh, but uh, the security update uh, is not recent. It is uh, from 2017. Dune uh, sh should provide an update here. Okay, this is the main screen. This is the movie scrapper. It is basic. Uh, you don't get much options, but for some uh, this may be good be because it's not uh, complicated. You just select uh, uh, your your folders, your movie folders, and it does all the tricks. Unfortunately, you don't get to choose uh, the posters for for your movies. Uh, you only get what uh, Dune chooses for you. The good news is that uh, in case of a mismatch, in case uh, my collection does not understand uh, the movie, uh, we can manually uh, input IMDB's code, so you have a perfect match. It will be easy for you to map your entire collection. Uh, so uh, you get a description, cast, crew, uh, trailers from YouTube, it is quite nice. If you have an image backup from your movie stored, uh, when you press play, you get an option to play the, uh, the movie in light mode, just the movie, or in full uh, menu navigation mode, just like uh, you would do uh, with your uh, disc player. Moving on to video testing, um, Realbox 4K performs great. 
uh, I can confirm uh, full HD audio uh, compatibility all the way up to Dolby Atmos and uh, DTSX. And uh, as far as uh, uh, video codecs go, uh, you also get a brand new support for HDR10+, which was not a given until now. This is the first media player that does that. Uh, one uh, nice option is uh, auto subtitle downloading. Uh, you can you just can select it when you are in navigation mode. Jellyfish videos with high bit rate uh, pass through fine. No judders, no skipped frames. Three D three D mode is supported as well. Uh, frame rate is perfect. Uh, uh, tested with uh, HD Fury Vertex, you get a, a perfect twenty four P output. And uh, what is this? Oh yes, this is the Dune promotion icon, just in the middle of the main screen, right between recent and sources. Um, it would be nice if there was a way to move it at the end or make it disappear. Let's get now to Android applications. Let's start with YouTube. You will find a different uh, version of YouTube pre-installed, uh, a tweaked one. Uh, you get some nice options, the quality options, you get the video, you get, the, you get to select manually all the available resolution and bitrate options, which is which is quite nice. You get all the way up to 4K HDR at 60 frames per second. All of these are supported. Uh, you may experience some dropped frames when in playback of 4K HDR at 60 frames per second, which may be too much for this system on chip to handle. Okay, now let's get to Google Play Store. Uh, it's not pre-installed, uh, it just asks, asks your permission to do so. Uh, everything is here, uh, application games, there are minor uh, incompatibilities. For example, I could not find uh, Kickbench or some other benchmarks, but you will not mind. Uh, most of applications and games uh, are for you to are available to you to, to install. We should point out that uh, Netflix is not compatible with this device. Web browsing is not super fast, but it's not, uh, it is not uh, annoyingly slow either. Uh, in order for you to have a better web browsing experience, you should avoid using the remote, even in mouse pointer mode. Uh, it would be better for you to to plug in uh, a keyboard combo like a Logitech K400, which uh, worked great for me. Okay, uh, internal storage. Thankfully, uh, Dune has installed a very fast internal flash ROM module uh, with reading speeds up to 110 megabytes per second and write ones in the range of uh, 50 megabytes per second. It is quite snappy, you can feel it. Okay, the main specs of the system on chip from Realtek. It's a basic quad core, it's a mid range, it's not a super fast one. Uh, you can get with uh, today casual gaming, Android game, basic titles but uh, you will not get away with uh, heavy 3D ones. So no Fortnite or Asphalt 8 or Asphalt 9 for you, sorry. You also get Aptoid TV Market. If you press this icon, the add icon, you will get to Aptoid TV Market. We don't need to say this, you know what, it is, what this is about. So what else? Oh yes, you get some uh, applications by Dune. Uh, the music is the most interesting one. Uh, you get to search for an album or a, or a band, a favorite band, and you get results. 
Uh, my favorite band is Pearl Jam. I searched for 10 and I got some pretty impressive information. I, I'm not aware, I'm not, I don't know the source of this, but it, it is impressive. Um, uh, when you play back, when you select to play back, you, almost, you obviously get a, uh, a YouTube video at the background uh, with some uh, information for the track currently playing, like this one. You can uh, have it in the background, listen to the background music while uh, browsing in the main menus, which is quite nice. It's not polished, but it is nice. The second application by doing is Radio Time. Um, it supports internet radio playback and can detect or filter the selections of the radio stations based on your region. You can also uh, manually select any other country or city radio stations of your liking. There are some broken links here or there, but uh, overall it uh, works uh, uh, properly. Okay, I believe that was it. Please forgive me if I made uh, grammar mistakes. It was my first effort. Uh, Dune Realbox 4K is a great player and you will reach to better conclusions on it uh, from the detailed presentation on the website, uh, midiaplayers.gr. That was it. Bye-bye. Thank you. Till next time.